Hello everybody, this is Miserable Zenith. We're keeping on going with Fire Emblem 3, Mystery of the Emblem Book 2. We've beaten Harden, but that's not the end. Chapter F. Dragon's... Day? Dragon's Darkness? Dragon... I don't know what I was trying to say. Under the guidance of Oxage, Gato, Moth, and the others headed to Macedonia's north. The Dragon's Dale! That's what it's saying. It's an undeveloped region populated with flying dragons and ruled by barbarians. There's no time to stop because the fate of the world is in Marth's hands. Wait, where's the falchion? Where's the falchion? Do I not get falchion? Doesn't make sense. Just what I wanted, more meteors. Devil axes. Fire-breathing flying dragons. Hey, I know this. This is the exact same thing I've faced in the desert. Except with stronger barbarians and exactly the same strength flying dragons. You know who would have been really good here? Cashin. Yep, there's a village up here. Good luck getting to it. There's also a secret shop right here, and this one is plainly obvious. It's like, shop, 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 shop. Ooh, mystery random plane square in the mountains. I wonder what that could be. It's, that's so obvious that that's... A secret shop? I don't even have to pretend... Okay, how many units can I actually bring? Pala, Catra, Minerva, Renda, Var, Fina, Wendell, Melissa, Yumina, Chiki, Sirius, Abel, Chaney, Valerian, Midia? Midia. Roche makes a good argument. I never got Wolf, Wyland, or uh, Sedgar. What if I had to do something differently? Yeah, we'll bring Midia. She makes a good point. Other stats. Oh, Silver Lance, Javelin, Iron Lance, Dragon Killer. Uh, deposit, list weapons, take dragon killer. Able. Uh, deposit steel sword, take dragon killer. So this is what I'm going to be doing for everyone. Wait, that's on Paula. Uh, are all my dragon killers passed out? Marth, Chaney, Midia, Navar, Paula. Did I have another one? Uh, rapiers. Steel, silver. Okay, here's the supply. Dragon killer, yes I do. Okay. Actually, serious. You take the dragon killer. From you know what, Navar's not gonna use a dragon killer and the miracle. Um no, I'll just take it from someone who's not gonna always be... take it from Midia. Most weapons, uh, just give her a silver sword instead or something. Or steel sword, or do I have any... Oh, lady sword, of course. Of course! I forget. Steel sword, lady sword... Most weapons. Okay, take the dragon killer and take a silver lance, iron lance, and where did all my javelins go? Wait a second. Gradivus. 
I can use Gradibus. Now is the time for Gradibus. List items, not weapons. Relive and take another Riplo. Alicia. Take a fresh Riplo. List items. I uh, have them earn good. Wendell, you, you're, you're fine. Deposit, unlock, and take the. Uh, what do I take? Well, silence for live. Magic shield. Probably nice to have. Miracles, you should be repaired soon. Shaver, you have shaver. Arm oh, might be repairable if I want to. Have a fresh rapier, uh, fresher, yeah. Thunder sword, um, give it to Navarre, probably. And sword killer, not facing the sword wielders. Um, don't need a armor killer. I am not bringing an archer, though. That it, that could be problem. How, how bad off am I that I want to bring Gordon? Would I rather bring Gordon or Midia? Cheney. You know what, this will be fine. High movement for the win. Jagan, where is this? Is this Macedonia or Johura? The right of the country's border. This is where Macedonia's dragons are born. However, these lands are ruled by savage barbarians. Even Macedonia's soldiers are afraid to enter here. This is the dragon's dale. Anyway, Jagan, we need to hurry. I feel like something's gonna happen on my to my sister and the others. I have a bad feeling. <laughs> You know what? Why not? The other side of the mountains is a small hill called the Dragon's Altar. Recently, there have been eerie roaring sounds coming from there. Grandfather and the others are afraid a demon's about to awaken. Mustn't get close to that place. I'm gonna transform into Midia. Not the best transformation, but not the worst. This is the Dragon's Dale. Don't go any further, otherwise I fear you'll be burnt to death by the dragons. How sinister sounding. Okay, how many of these dragons are there anyway? A lot. A freaking ton. Okay, what's their attack speed? They're dragons, it should be zero, right? Yeah. Dun, 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 Um, they don't have resistance, do they have five resistance? So what I could do, I could actually use Resire Strats here. Hmm, Resire Strats. Weapon, Equip, Resire. Yeah, with Resire I actually heal more damage than I take. Or heal equivalent amounts. 22 minus- yeah, yeah, I heal more than I take. Provided I don't run into any Berserkers, which just one-shot me. But it is time for Tiki to show her worth. In being effectively immune to these dragons. And just fly around and crush them. So here's the thing about flying dragons. They make it really hard to feel safe moving around, because it's not much damage, but it does add up.
Okay, that's... Like, that right there is about as far forward as I feel comfortable moving. And it's not very far forward at all. Okay, enemy phase. Show me what you got. Thief arrived. Yeah. The thieves will spawn from that cave and they will rush to the village. We need to visit the village before the thieves get there. Actually, is this the village where we need to have... This might be the village where we need to have uh, Minerva get there. Okay, so I don't know if this is in FE3, but in FE12, you had to have Minerva get to the village first and wait there, and then you had to have Marth visit the village. Okay, magic moment. Or moment of truth, rather. Nope, doesn't matter. Dodged anyway. And I double Marth reside, which is kind of dangerous. Oh shoot, I had a uh, bishop ring I can give you. I can give her a bishop ring. Probably do that now. Okay, Tiki, fly straight up now that we've dealt with these flying dragons. And deal with these flying dragons. Item. No, supply. Oh, you just have the item on you, don't you? Good. Uh, take the bishop ring. Item. Oh, supply. Take. Uh, where's the member card? There we go, there's member card. And just kill this dragon however you see fit. The rapier seems like a good weapon of choice. Seems reasonable. Okay, where's the danger from this fire breathing dragon? Okay, one square beyond. So, the square in front of the barbarian is a danger square. So this is safe, relatively speaking. I like how everyone's afraid, oh, barbarians, they're horribly terrible. It's like, well, you got one thing right. I want to maximize the Hamurn, but at the same time, I don't want to break a weapon and then not be able to fix it. Okay, weapon, equip, silver. Okay. Now I at least know I have a weapon equipped. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have given her some staves as well. But Linda's promoting. Into the same model as everyone else. Her hair, her hair changed from long blonde to short red. Now that's a Linda worth using. Back the low hit points. Silver Lance Equip. Silver Lance Equip, wait. Silver Lance Equip, wait. Serious move up. Silver Lance Equip. This should be fine. This should be fine indeed. I can even dance for Marth. Okay, store in supply uh, these useless things. Take from supply a glow staff and a leave staff and give them over to Linda because she now knows how to use them all. Why she couldn't before is a matter of just gameplay. Yes, put on a ring and suddenly you're able to use staves. 
Thieves arrive. The mountains will slow them down a little bit, but I need to be very quick in order to actually catch the thieves. That's why it's so good that Tiki can just ignore these dragons, pretty much, and one-shot them. That is immensely helpful. Because that means... Like, sure, it's only 16 damage, but... You know, 16 guaranteed damage combined with, like, a, a 34 potential from these barbarians? And the meteor right here? That's some rough stuff right there. Okay. Oh, I can watch out this, uh... Dark Mage, don't mind if I do. Okay, that does put Tiki in range of... Man, these guys have 33 attack. That is a lot. That is a lot of attack. An easy way of killing all these guys? Probably not. I don't have much crit rate though, which is fine by me. I have 13 defense and 38 attack, which means. Okay, 19 plus 13 is 32. Okay, so I need to use this. Guarantee a kill. Dodge. Oh, crit sound. I love the crit sound. Silver Lance. This won't be a kill. And it's a crit. Like that. Da -da 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 -da. How far can you move? Not very, but it helps. Couple extra steps forward. To help Marth make it to the village on time. We can help the trains run on time. The Marth train, at least. I'm pretty sure that was it for all the flying dragons. Let me do one once over. Okay, no, there's there's still more flying dragons. Not too many, though. That was it for all the ones on the mountains, so I've cleared out the left side now. I think if I break Mercurius, it'll just become a broken weapon like everything else? I don't know that for sure, though. Like, I know I broke a Silver Lance and it just became a broken weapon. So I'm pretty sure I could repair that with the Murn and it would become a Silver Lance again. And so if I use the Murn on a... So I'm pretty sure that then means... By extension, if I get... What am I trying to say? If I get Mercurius to zero, it will become a broken weapon. And then I restore it with Hamurn, and it becomes a, a full strength Mercurius again. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I want to be careful with that, though, because if I somehow end up guessing that, if I say that, but that's not true, then I've lost Mercurius for the rest of the game. Okay, come on. Come on, move it. Move it, you little thieves. Let me get Tiki to where she needs to be. To absorb all these dragons' attacks. It's one of them. Oh, that would be two of them if I can stand there. I can.
That's two dragons and this barbarian, and probably that meteor as well. Why, Tiki? Able, uh, yeah, just, just kill with the silver. Why not? Not like I can kill with a night killer. How close is this dragon? Okay, so I can't be here. I have to... Was it? One sec, let me check that again. Okay, so here's where it can move, so I can't be there. So I can't be there. This is safe. That all should be safe until this happens. And these dragons attack me, and they have 16. This guy's a meteor. Uh, the moth should be fine if I place him carefully here. Yes, Moth is in the perfect position. Of course, it does mean he's squaring off against that brigand without any real. Oh, uh, yeah, so let's. Uh, let's equip him as Silver Sword, like I forgot to. There we go. And suddenly we're fine. Suddenly everything is fantastic once again. So I'll have two silence staff uses. I'm gonna make sure that those remain in play as long as I can. Okay, silence has been very helpful in the past and probably will continue to be so. Of course the real question though is if I don't hammern it soon, like now, this chapter or something. Will I get into a position where I can't actually get to him to hammer it, and I run out of uses in a really bad position and then die because of that? That would be very terrible if that was the case. Hmm. Okay, so... These guys are javelins. How weak these thieves are. One, two, three. Okay. Does that move range again? Okay, so that should be safe. Good. Oh, that is not worth wasting Gradius on. Uh, Chaney. Uh, give them a normal. Javelin. Yeah, and Gradius has 17 uses. I'm not using one of those 17 on a thief that I can kill with a normal javelin. Not in the slightest. Never anything that crossed my mind. The enemy. Yep, you attack Marth as expected. They're pretty hard. These dragons all crash into the rock that is Tiki. She cares not. She's a divine dragon. She one-shots all these feral dragons. Oh, Tiki, you are so good. So good. So overpowered. <laughs> oh, even being attacked by Meteor. Nice. No more Meteor. I'm gonna say Medio. Not too much Final Fantasy like three or something. How can I kill you? Let me count the ways. One. Okay, now let's Heal up with the Marth. Mm -hmm. 
move my flyers up and around to take care of these brigands without getting killed by the bishops, preferably. So there are no more Here's something I can do. I can take the member card. And. I don't know what I can get here, but I'm assuming it's gonna be useful. Assuming it's gonna be more useful than a lot of dragon whips that I can't even. Look, I have three spare dragon whips, only two units I can even promote with dragon whips. And I made sure that I. You know, I got every unit. And I could. I recruited all the flyers. There was effectively nothing else for me to use those dragon whips on. I don't know why they gave me another dragon whip. Did they think Minerva wasn't gonna be a promoted unit? I wonder. I don't know what they were thinking exactly, but you know, if they're gonna give me free stuff, it's free money, I'll take it. There we go, goodbye thieves. Um, this is uh, fairly dangerous, so 30, 13, uh, times 3, yeah. That's actually not dangerous at all, she's fine. I don't even need to waste radius. Thief arrived. Well, you're just in time to get killed by Sirius. Looks like all these barbarians are just in time to get killed by Pala. That's the part of Fire Emblem that's... You know, it's fun creating these crazy strategies and executing them and having everything just work out by some stroke of luck. But it's also fun to... Oh, shoot. Let me say, but it's also fun to just have the... You move a lot farther than I gave you credit for. Oh, shoot. No. No. I miscounted the squares. Um. That was almost a dead Yumina, and goodbye to Reserve Warp and all those tomes. That was the closest I've come to just having, like, an instant loss in a fair bit of time. I actually killed the Scout Blizzard. My math is correct, which it is. Get... <laughs> Get lucky, get wrecked. Oh man, I... I don't deserve to be alive right now. That was actually one of the worst plays I could have... That, that play right there is on par... That play right there is on par with losing Kashim to not paying attention to how much damage the other bishop has, and assuming that it was just a crit instead. That's how abysmal my play right there actually was. Oh man, survives at one hit point. Uses up an extra use of the silver lens. But I leveled up, so that's good, right? So many river tiles. Okay, what can I get at these shops? 
Fire Thunder Blizzard, Elf Fire Liver Cover. Not interested. Cover is an interesting option, though. Uh, keys of all varieties. Not interested. Killer weapons. Killer bows. Silver lances. Silver bows. Silver swords. Not really interested. I might pick up one or two if I have enough money after the secret shop. Dragon killers, silver swords, yeah, still not interested. Okay, okay. Let's see this cap, so it still doesn't really matter when I'm doing this. It's probably just wasting javelin uses at this point, but. Dance for Linda. Heal Yumina. Yumina, you came through for me when I became an idiot. Seriously, why? It's probably because I'm playing for several hours straight, just binge recording. So I'm finally at a point where no one's home and no one's gonna be home for another few hours. Probably just getting careless because I'm tired. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Let's not do that. How about that? How about we don't get careless because we're tired? We get player phase. Yeah, I can give you all of these. Nope, nothing. Okay. Figured it was worth a shot. Figured it was worth a look. See. I guess it doesn't really matter who I kill this Dark Bishop with, as long as I kill him. So I'm gonna assume. So, Abel, here we go. Go get him, Abel. Yeah, he'll drop me to one. Doesn't matter. Because I'm gonna be fine anyway. I'm pretty sure there are no more reinforcements. Victory is near. Music hasn't started playing, but I don't know if it's going to start playing anymore. Because I don't know if victory is actually near. Okay, so that whole stopping Minerva there was just because in Fire Emblem 12 you actually do that. Prince Michaelis, what are you doing here? You've suffered a grave wound. What's happened? Moth. I've been waiting for you. Take this. This is the Starlight Tome. You're giving it to me? That's right. God, if only with this spell can he be harmed. I managed to take it back from his possession. God, if, where is he now? The Dragon's Altar. I was careless. I could be defeated by God, if. Marth. Good luck. I'm already finished. Minerva is still around. Tell her to... in my place. Rescue Maria. Shell! Highness, I leave Maria's fate to you. Ugh. Well, now we have Starlight. The most obvious secret shop in the world. What do we have here? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, and they all cost 10,000 because we never got a silver card. I'm 
Okay, so what do I actually want to buy? If I sell enough, I get 40,000, then I can get three items. Okay, is boosting Marth what I want to do right now? Honestly, at this point, it's either Marth or Navar. And Marth needs to be able to take on the dragon, the final boss. Um, but honestly, he doesn't really need too much else. Tempted to make Linda better or something? I don't know. How much does Tiki need to be better? Uh, more defense. Definitely be, wouldn't go amiss. So, Draco Shield for Tiki. I'm sure we could get four Draco Shields, honestly. Like, all my lances don't really uh, matter much. Because the final chapters are all indoors and I'm not going to be able to use them. I just have an armor knight, which is why I've been training Shima. That would put me just short. Okay, so Dragon Shield, Dragon Shield. Can't buy talismans, can I? Nope. So three Dragon Shields it is. Why? Okay, now let's just make this a run of selling all our useless stuff. Or at least our soon to be useless stuff. Knight's Crest, Ryan's Bolt, Knight's Crest. Can I sell a Firestone? I could buy them earlier. Steel Lances, um, can I even sell Rapiers? Okay. Not much else to do here but walk Marth down, so before I do that... I'm going to... Actually, I can just sell stuff here for money. Um, let's sell... Oh yeah, I was just gonna sell everything. Sell all of these wonderful promotional items that I totally didn't need. Yeah, 9,000 for a... For a Firestone. Cool. Oh, the rapier actually does sell. Sells for a decent amount, too. Here we can. And now we buy... So I already bought three dragon shields, which is nine points of defense. So one for Tiki puts her 18. Two for Marth puts him to 18. One for Navarre puts him to 18. Do I need more goddess icons? Do I more angel robes? Do I want to max out Marth's attack? Do I want to max out one of their defenses or all their defenses? Yeah, let's just max out Marth's attack. Why not? Come again. Okay, supply, take. 
I mean, I have a lot of useless stuff, but selling it all would take forever and wouldn't really give me that much. Okay, max power. Tiki and Transformed. I wonder if I still use it as Untransformed Tiki. If I still get the benefit as Transformed Tiki. I should. I can't see why not. Or she'll, she still gains her stats as if she was... Okay, Navarre, let's boost you up now. I hope defense will actually end up being useful. Hope I'm not just fighting dragons. Because I'm pretty sure that I'm fighting dragons as well as, like, snipers and heroes, but... I could just be fighting dragons, and all these points in defense will be completely useless. Okay, item, use, dragon shield. Okay, Navarre is max and everything except resistance and, I guess, hit points. I could use a little bit of help, but it's fine. And this should max out Tiki's defense. And transformed. Here we go. So this is the Dragon's Altar, where the Divine Dragon Naga sealed away the Earth Dragons. But wasn't Medius the garden of the altar guardian of the altar? Medius could not tolerate the humans' actions against the Nantutes, so he gathered the other dragon tribes and formed the Dahura Empire to destroy mankind. First he was defeated by Henri, and second by you, but Earth Dragons can't be destroyed easily due to their powerful life force. Medius is now sleeping in the altar. Gonna resurrect again? No, even an Earth Dragon shouldn't be within a hundred years. Medius is now changing his form. When he awakens next, he will become a fearful dark dragon. No. Could be, so that's why. Why, Garnev? What is it, Gato? It's smart that I finally understand why the sisters have been taken. Garnev plans to use them to resurrect Medius. To awaken a dragon requires the life force of females with pure and noble blood. Garnev knew about this, so he went to capture the sisters. My sister and the others are inside the altar! Martha must hurry. The sisters are in grave danger. Idios, he is going to resurrect once again. Yep. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to stop him because we don't have all the people alive that we need to. That's... just the way it is, though. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. This is Mithril Zenith signing out, and hopefully I don't make any stupid mistakes in the finale.